Sometimes if you're hitting a steep slope that's more than you're used to, or if that steep slope gets quite narrow where you've got no room to turn, you have to try and get a very explosive turn made on the spot. To do this, your key factors is gaining more flexibility to be able to spring and launch off. Good launch with the pole plant and trying to get that body to aim and dive down the corridor. As you go through the movement though, don't forget, it's important at this stage to manually steer your legs. It's a powerful movement, it's got to get done on the spot. If you land the skis in the full line, they're going to accelerate. Have a look at the movement here. Pole plant gets ready, legs testing that they've got the flex, and on the spot, turn those skis around. You've taken up no space, you could ski in a very narrow corridor, you've dropped no height. You've got certain areas where you really don't want to lose height. You could be landing on ice, or just terrain that gets really steep and exposed, and you've got to make sure you can get your edges dug in to try and get that grip and that, that support and security. Two main things you need to think about for trying to get your edges dug in. You can see the angles of my ski edges here on the surface, and that supplies me with a certain amount of grip. But as I move my hip into the hill here, you can see how the edges are getting tilted up onto more of an angle. The more of an angle, the more pressure, the more grip I'm going to get from the ski. So that's the hip moving inside. You can see the movement again. Just watch the tips of the skis. As the hip drops in here, it's a very secure position. Skis nicely up on their edge. The body still slightly facing down the fall line. It's a bit like a tug of war position. You can imagine how the, the support you'd get from that. You can tweak it with your knees, but be sure to not use your knees as the core movement. The core movement's coming from the hip and getting the hip to move in. But you've got this second point here. A little bit of tweaking can go on just to get the knees inside, just to get that extra little bit of grip. I'm going to make my turn, body facing down the hill, get my pole ready here, and as I land, the edges are tilted up, and I know they're going to grip for me. So we'll work on trying to get the edges to bite a little bit on these jump turns, here in a bit more of a groomed piste. Just having a look at that position, remember, it's getting the hip into the heel you're looking for. You can think about that while you're in the air. So as you come into your turn here, pole plant, and actually landing in a position which is gonna favor the skis being on their edges. So by working through those dynamic exercises, you'll be able to achieve much bigger gradients, but also ski in those technical awkward terrains and achieve that type of skiing. Take